24 teams faced off for a good cause at the Bemidji Curling Club over the weekend. For this week's Community Spotlight, Mel Meyer got out on the ice as teams swept and delivered for Relay for Life. The annual Bonspiel or curling tournament was a tradition for the Schmidt family. My dad ran it for a number of years and um, he actually died of multiple myeloma. After Charlie Schmidt passed away nine years ago, his son helped keep the tradition alive. It wasn't until last year that they turned the event into a fundraiser in his honor. Last year we decided to try it with Relay and it worked pretty good. We got 20 teams and this year we filled it up with 24. The teams are made up of players of all experience levels, from novices to near experts. It's one of the things that Liz Johnson, who has been playing for over 35 years, enjoyed the most. We have some kids that are playing too, and that's really been fun. Men and women and kids, so that's great. Clayton Broughton has been curling for 50 years and loves the camaraderie of the sport. He wanted to come out today with his family for the fun of it. If we win, fine. If we lose, fine. You know, whatever it is, it's just good, good family fun, you know. And for Heather Reese, who wanted to come support her friend and her family, this was a first-time experience. It was an experience. <laughs> no, it was fun. I would do it again. While the games had relatively low stakes, the participants got very into the competition for the cause. <laughs> Val Burnham was here in honor of her husband's uncle. The first game, we did okay, and we're getting better as the games go on. At the end of the day, the curlers were able to raise $2,752 for the American Cancer Society. In Bemidji, with this week's Community Spotlight, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.